YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Graven here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game that we all watch some of y'all probably ain't want to watch the whole thing but we all watched it yesterday between the Ravens and the Broncos and boy that was uh quite a game now before the game um I talked about personal experience uh from the last time that I had got a promotion um and that was in April of 2018 I got a promotion, and once it was official that I had got the job, had the interview, got the job, they were like, all right, you're going to start on this date. At my current position, I checked out. I checked out. I was like, I already didn't like it that much, but I checked out. I was happy to be leaving. Everybody knew I was happy to be leaving, and I was like extra lax. Like me, I'm always somebody that's lax already, but I was extra lax. I was extra chill. I was not giving much effort, and I mean... That's probably not the best way to go about things, but still, I was like, hey, I'm getting ready to leave, so yeah. I think that's how Greg Roman was yesterday. Greg Roman was like, man, I ain't worried about none of this that's going on right here. Look, man, I, I am gone, and I mean, hey, maybe by the time you see this video, man, may, maybe Stanford will come out with the official announcement that we have hired Greg Roman to be our official uh, head coach. Um, so... I mean, it just, it was wild yesterday, man. It, it, it really was. It, it was funny. Uh, it was sad. It was crazy. It was just, some parts were goofy. Um, but that's that, man. Uh, I, I, I do really believe that Greg Roman has called his final game uh, as Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator. Just waiting on official word like any day now, man. Um, so we, we'll see, though, man. We'll see. But Greg Roman in yesterday's game, um, it was just crazy. I uh, they they really couldn't get the run game going. Um, I don't know if that's just because Broncos now they they do have a really good defense. They have a really good defense. Um, but there were some times where they just stopped running completely. It, it, it and it was weird because there would be times where the run game was like it was looking not not fine overall, but it was looking better at moments, and then they would just stop. Um, but the situational play calling, it, I mean, it, it was a big issue in yesterday's game. And what's crazy about it was that it didn't have to be. It didn't have to be. There was, um, oh, the, the drive, the drive that we all remember, that we all know and loved. The drive, Tyler Huntley throwing the ball. Ravens were actually moving the ball downfield. They were going in a positive direction down the field with Tyler Huntley throwing the ball. So it's, uh, I think it was second and seven, something like that. So Greg Roman like, look, man, I'm, I'm about to go out with a bang. So they call the whole little end around. Tyler Huntley tosses it to Duvernay. Duvernay tosses it to Prochet. And they like, look, pro, we ain't going to use you like no wide receiver like that, but maybe we could make a little transition. You could play some quarterback. Go ahead, do your thing, pro. So Prochet, he did a little double tap. You know how you do when you're playing ball. He double tap. That's when you're really confident in the pass you're about to make. He did a little double tap, threw the ball downfield, and was like. And then he threw it into double, triple, quadruple coverage to Ken Drake. To Ken Drake. And it was just. And see, my thing, the play call, like, if it would have worked, yeah, we all would have cheered. My biggest issue was not even with the play call. It was a little silly, but it. My biggest issue wasn't even with the play call. It was, well, it was with the situation that the play call was in. Because, again, the pass, the pass game was going just fine. Well, I mean, as good as it was overall yesterday. But it was going just fine on that drive. It was going just fine. And then they do that. And I was thinking, whoa, like, what? why? For what? Then there was another, uh, an another drive. And I want to say it was the last drive of the game. Where again, and, and time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. The down and distance is of the essence. All that stuff is of the essence. The pass game again. I think it was after the whole the, the, the pass interference call against Mark Andrews, and that was a good call. At first I was thinking, hold up, are the Ravens bailing the I mean are the refs bailing the Ravens out? But it was actually a really good uh pass interference call. Uh because it could have been defensive holding, could have been pass interference, could have been all all that in one. But on that final drive, Ravens they were they were moving the ball, and it was a uh, third and two, I believe. And the clock's ticking. The clock is ticking. Ravens they 
Did they have any timeouts? I don't even remember. But anyway, the clock was ticking. Ravens were obviously down. They needed a touchdown. Third and two. They call a run play. I think it was to Justice Hill. I forgot who the running back was. Whoever it was, they called a run play. And I, I hated that call. I really did. And again, it was situational. I just thought it was not smart at all. And I'm like, yeah, you're trying to catch him off guard. It's the end of the game. Run play. But I was just like, ah, I just, I don't like it at all. I did not like it. Um, but then they had, they did get the, they did convert the fourth and two, which, whew, because that, that would have been a ball game if they wouldn't have got it. Um, throughout the game, this was, uh, Greg Roman, he, hey, he, he went, he went back to his bread and butter. Devin DuVernay is back to being the jet sweep king. King! Uh, what, what was it, like three of them in the game yesterday? I think. Something like that, but, uh, whew. Um, now there was some, some calls that I did like. Uh, I, I really did like, um, oh, it didn't work though. I forgot. When it was in a game But I was like Alright I, th- I think it was like Third and short I'm like alright Come on Greg Roman Just li- have Tyler Huntley Lined up on the center Pat Ricard behind him And Gus Edwards behind him Just running up the gut And they tried that But the Broncos Were just all over it um, But I was like Hey that's a good play call It just it just didn't work out uh, But it's crazy Because we see uh, And a lot of people See it too um, They Because people they, they start Oh man The offense is much more efficient when Tyler Huntley's on the field, um, and I mean, it, it's 10 points, much more efficient. But anyway, um, they try to do this thing where, they say, oh, well, Tyler Huntley, maybe he should take over for Lamar. He's better than Lamar. Ravens should just keep Tyler Huntley instead of Lamar. It's like, what? Really? No, let's, let's not. Let's not. Um, the, the game is different when Tyler Huntley's in versus when Lamar is in. The calls are different when Tyler Huntley's in versus when Lamar is in. The tempo is different when Tyler Huntley's in versus when Lamar is in. It's like they they change everything. And, I mean, he is the backup quarterback, so things are going to be different. But it's crazy because things that we've seen give Lamar success and more success in the passing game, they don't consistently implement those things. But when Tyler Huntley's in there, they will implement them. Uh, a, a faster, faster-paced offense. The quick passing game. They implement it so much more when Tyler Huntley's in the game versus when Lamar's in the game. And y'all know that we have talked about this uh, for a while, a long time, about the quick passing game. Y'all have brought it up plenty of times, too, the quick passing game, because it's a way to get Lamar in a rhythm, to get the receivers in a rhythm, to get everybody in a rhythm. And to continuously move the ball down the field. And obviously, we talked about the up-tempo. We talked about that a lot. A whole lot. Now, yesterday, there were, there were no play clock issues at all. There was no play clock issues. The, everything was seemed to be nice and smooth. Now, what was the reason? I don't know. I don't know. But again, it's just, it's just weird how different things are. And a lot of people have their different reasonings. We're not going to get into that right now. But I'm, I, I know it's, it's going to come up in questions from subs. I, I know it is for sure. And people, they, they have valid reasons to think they're different things. But anyway, um, Tyler Huntley in this game, uh, I, was, um, I was happy to see the Ravens get the win. Um, he did, and it, it was a lot to be asked of him uh, to come off the bench um, he, I mean, I, I know backups always say, oh, we got to prepare like we're starters, but you can't truly prepare like you're a starter because you're practicing with a lot of the backups and whatnot. Um, but he came out there, uh, and he, like with Tyler Huntley, I mean, it's, it's, it's always been the same thing. Tyler Huntley, the completion percentage is going to look really good, which is good. Um, but it's, it's, it's all short stuff with the deep ball. I know Tyler Huntley, that's um that's something that and, and I think they only attempted like one deep ball. I don't remember him attempting another one besides the just the one that they missed. And I wasn't tripping off of that miss. I'm like, okay, they, he's a backup. He just came in. I, I, I ain't expecting him to be throwing the ball all over the field. Like it's okay, he missed the deep ball. Ain't no big deal. Um, but they, they didn't attempt any after that. Um, but a lot of short passes, getting a lot of different guys involved, uh, which was nice. Um, just a lot of, a lot of short stuff. Um, 
But it, it, and it was crazy because it's like they were getting a lot of short stuff, but they weren't really like moving like that. Um, but yeah, Ty, and I think Tyler Huntley he got he got to have sort of the uh, the Lamar Jackson experience because he was obviously the team's leading passer, but he was their their leading rusher too um, because he led the team with uh, ten rushes for forty one carries. Um, obviously got that touchdown on that final drive, which was great. Had converted um, a big fourth down, uh, which was great. When they, where they faked they faked the jet sweep to uh, Devin Duvernay. So I guess all them jet sweeps that they were doing it paid off because hey, when they faked one to him, they, the, the, I guess the Broncos were like, hey, this is Devin Duvernay jet sweep King Day baby, and they were so focused on him. So I guess I guess so I guess all the jet sweeps weren't too bad, right? Because that set it up for later. So there you go, little little uh, offense in motion like that. Um, but yeah. I, with Tyler Huntley, it, it was tough, man, because they just they couldn't do anything. And again, backup quarterback against a really, really good defense, that's a tough ask. That is really, really tough. Um, but when it mattered the most, uh, they did get the touchdown at the end. And boy, that's another thing. Thank goodness there weren't 10 more seconds left on the clock. Ravens would have lost. 10 more seconds. Ten more seconds left in the game, Ravens lose that game because that kick was close. And hey, and I know it's tough because Ravens defense, they they have some tough assignments, man. They have tough assignments because um, the offense has been an issue for a while, been an issue, and the defense. In a lot of these games, they'll be holding, 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 holding the opposing team's offenses, and the offense will be stale. The offense will be. Whether it's a the bad pass, whether it's a turnover, whether it's a drop, whether it's a fumble, whether it's this, that, and a third, whatever it is, or just a straight up punt. Um, and the defense will hold, but then at the end of the game, um, the offense, they hey, they'll they'll make something happen. Whether they get a lead, they'll score a touchdown, and then the defense, they'll fall apart. But it's tough because again, in a lot of games, they are asked to hold, hold, hold. Uh, but then at the end, they just fall apart. Um, but even still, I mean, that's that's where the money is, baby. So it is. They do have higher expectations than the offense, in my opinion, because that's that's where the all the money is, the investments, and all of that. Um, but yeah, in this game, I, I'm just I'm glad that the, the the time left in the game it worked out the way that it did. Because had it not, ooh, this would be a much sadder uh, Monday for Ravens fans because that would have been a loss to the Denver Broncos. Because McManus, that boy, that kicker was on point. Boy, he was on point. Um, so, yeah, man. But anyway, um, back to the offense. Tyler Huntley, man, my favorite play from him in yesterday's game was it was a pass to Drake. With Tyler Huntley, he got pressured and he had to scramble to the left. And Drake, um, Drake just kept he kept running. He was he was following Tyler Huntley like he was watching him, but he kept running. He didn't just stop and sit there like we see it happen with a lot of times with the offense when the starting QB will get pressure. Some guys will just sit there and wait. But Drake kept moving. Tyler Huntley kept moving, and Tyler Huntley like threw it across his body, and it was right in front of the defender. But it was behind behind one defender and in front of another, and then sort of in front of another one. And Drake caught it. It was it was that was. My probably favorite play from him, um, one of the best throws from him in the game, because it was just and it was like a, I think just like a six yard completion or something like that, but it was so big, and it was clutch too. It was a very clutch play from Tyler Huntley, um, but yeah, it was oof. game was it was an ugly game, a uh, very ugly game. Um, the defense, I mean. Broncos offense, they they couldn't they couldn't do anything either. Uh, they just there were some times when they would move the ball, uh, but the defense they would bend, but they wouldn't break. Um, the Broncos number eighty, the the tight end, not Dorch, right? Not Greg, I think it's Dorch. I don't remember, but number eighty, the tight end for the Broncos. That boy, he was having himself a game, man. He was having himself a game, and Russell he kept going back to him. He kept trying them. Even sometimes he'd be double coverage. Russ said, oh, number 80's over there? I'm going to still try him. Um, so, shout out to him. But, again, the defense held. They held the field goal, field goal, field goal. And that was it. Um, then the last field goal attempt, thank goodness, boy. Because, again, Jerry Judy, 
he caught that pass. Then Russell Wilson had that big scramble, and then they got out of bounds. I think they got another completion out of bounds, or maybe Russell. No, Russell Wilson ran out of bounds. I think, but man, mm, that game. What well, the end of that game had us all just stressing out, man. Uh, but it was it was fun in the end. Um, and again, glad the Ravens they 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 got the win uh, with Tyler Huntley with his interception. Um, I said, oh, he that's the, that's the play where he thought he was Lamar. Tyler only got some speed, but he ain't got no Lamar speed. But because he he was trying to get away from that defender, and he boy that defender said no. Did that defender grabbed his jersey? And that was it, boy. He he grabbed his jersey, and Tyler Huntley was trying to stretch away. Then he was like, yeah, just, just threw it. And then uh, Justin Simmons, he picked it off, man. Simmons was Simmons got both picks. He got the interception on Tyler Huntley. He got the interception on our other quarterback, James Prochet, too. Ravens just Ravens playing everybody out of position. They they got Prochet at quarterback. They got record at wide receiver one. Ravens just they they love playing, man. They love playing games. But um. Anyway, man, I'm, I'm just glad they won. I'm, I'm glad they won. Um, we'll see. I'm sure we'll hear later today about the severity of Lamar Jackson's injury. Hopefully, it ain't nothing crazy. But, I mean, right now, I wouldn't expect him to play next week. That's just me, though. I ain't hear nothing yet, but I wouldn't expect him to play next week. Um, so, we'll see how it goes down, man. Um, Ravens are, they are quite the team, man. They, they are quite the team. Uh, now, this was... No, this was it was a different situation last year. Cause um I was gonna say this was kind of the situation in the Bears game last year where Lamar uh was supposed to play, but then he said he got sick. But it was this is a situation from the Browns game last year. Well Lamar was in the game, then he got hurt. Tyler Huntley took over, but this time they won. This time they won. Then I, I was thinking about the Bears game last year where Lamar was sick, where he was supposed to play in Tyler Huntley. He went in there and then the Ravens won. He got that game winning drive at the very end. Um, but now, if Lamar doesn't play next week, then Ty- Tyler Huntley would obviously be the starter. They would call up uh, Anthony Brown from the practice squad to be the backup. Because um, that's when the test would continue for Huntley. Um, because the reason I say that is because now he would be preparing as a starter, but the teams would also be preparing for him as a starter. Uh, last year was last year. But last year, when he was prepared for as a starter, the Ravens went 0 and what, 5? Was it 0 and 5 or 0 and 6? I forgot what it was, but they didn't win a game. Um, hopefully, this year will be different. Um, hopefully, this year will be different. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're obviously hoping Tyler Huntley does really well uh, in Lamar's absence, however long he's going to be absent for. Um, and we'll see, man. We'll see. That's I think that's just the that's the biggest thing. I think everybody just waiting. We all just waiting. Like, all right, what's Lamar's injury gonna be? How long is he gonna be out for? Because that kind of that just lets us know. Like, I feel like that that lets us know what our expectations should be uh, for the rest of the season. So Har- Harbaugh did say it's not season ending, um, but that was pretty much it. I mean, Marcus Williams. He said Marcus Williams season it wasn't season ending. In, it wasn't season ending. Uh, but he was out for, well, like two months. I mean, he's still out now, but he'll be back. I think he'll be back next week. But um, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all so much. And, like, hopefully Lamar Jackson won't be for too long. We out.